product. For more videos like this one, please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk. Product is the most important P of the marketing mix. All products go through a life cycle of development, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. Branding is used to make a product stand out from its rivals. Product development. A product is a good or a service that is sold to customers or other businesses. Customers buy a product to meet a need. Information gathered from market research is used by businesses to help them identify the need. A business will then aim to develop a new product that will meet the identified need effectively. Development of a new product involves a number of different stages. Idea generation. Research and development departments try to innovate and design new products that are new or better than the existing ones. Development. Businesses aim to have an innovation in their new product that they can point to as a USP. A good example of a product developed with a highly marketable USP was the first bagless vacuum cleaner. Prototypes and testing. Prototypes are made and then undergo tests to ensure the product is safe, reliable, fit for the purpose, and one that customers can and will use. Modifications. After seeing the prototype or early versions in use, alterations can be made to improve the product. Patents and copyright. Some products are registered for patents to protect the design from imitation by the competitors. Launch to market. Finally, the product is put into production and a marketing and advertising campaign is launched to introduce and sell the product to customers. Product life cycle. All products go through distinct phases or stages. Together, these are known as the product life cycle. The number of sales and the length of a product life cycle might be different for different products, but all products share a general pattern of growth and decline. This cycle can be shown on a graph of sales over time. Many businesses record and track sales information like this to help them know when to adjust the cost and price, to boost sales, and to extend the life of the product. Stages of product life cycle Development Product is not on the market yet. Research and development and testing take place. Prototypes are built and modified before a product is ready for launch. No sales are made. Development costs will be needed to recover later. Introduction Product is launched on the market. Advertising costs will be high in order for the product to get noticed. Growth Sales begin to rise. Advertising costs are still high. A profit may be made if all research and development and advertising costs have been recouped. Maturity Sales are at their peak, advertising can be reduced as the product is now well known, and finally decline when the sales begin to fall. Extending Product Life Cycle When a product reaches the decline stage, a business can act to extend its life cycle. There are a number of extension strategies that they can use to prevent their product from becoming obsolete. Change Product New and improved versions of the product can be released, like a version 2.0 and then a version 3.0. Change Price Price can be lowered to allow new customers to buy it. Change place. Product can be sold in different countries or territories to gain more sales. Change promotion. Different advertising or sales promotion techniques can prolong the life of the product, giving it a new image. Change packaging. The style of the packaging may be changed to give the appearance of a new and improved product. Change usage. Existing customers can be encouraged to buy more of our product or to use it in a different way. For example, breakfast cereals used advertising to show consumers eating cereal at different times of the day. Change name. If a product has suffered from bad publicity and sales are falling, a tried and testing technique is to simply change the name of the product. Branding. A business will brand its product so that those products will have a stronger identity. This makes the product more recognizable to customers and makes it stand out from the competitors. Well-known products often have memorable branding. Branding uses and promotes logos, slogans, and unique design. The image of the brand is all important and this image is created through advertising. Brands cost a lot of money to build up. Branding is often associated with delivering a high-quality product. This can relate to premium or in some cases luxury items. For example, Rolls-Royce or Gucci are brands that are presented as luxurious and are therefore expensive to buy. Branding can also be used to promote cheaper products or budget services. A customer paying for an inexpensive hotel room will still expect a certain level of comfort and cleanliness from a trusted budget brand, but he might not expect the same level of service or comfort found in a branded luxury hotel. Advantages and Disadvantages 
The advantages are that it gains customer loyalty, good image, premium pricing, and can add to the family of products. The disadvantages are that it has high advertising costs, one mistake can tarnish the brand reputation, and the loyalty can be fickle. We have prepared 10 questions for you to practice. Please visit the link below to test yourself. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this one, please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk.